first Daybreak Family Service Centre. Okay, so I've really sort of, uh, it's, 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 it's really a, a, a placement where I learned a lot about professionalism. Uh, Kumar is really uh, uh, someone who, who, who expects a high level of professionalism. Uh, I will ask stupid questions to the clients and he will, you know, as the first placement, call you up. Why well, you ask this question? I think I still remember my first client was an uh, was a Indian uh, man and a Muslim lady. I don't know whether Kumar remembers. So I was very puzzled how come they got married. <laughs> you know? So I, 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 it's nothing to do with the case actually. So I actually asked, how come you all get married? The phone ring, oh? you want, you can go and find out yourself. Why is it important? <laughs> In another case, uh, I think we went to this house infested with cockroaches. So uh, everything they asked, you know, usually social supervisors will process if you right. So can you reflect what you saw? I said, oh, a lot of cockroaches. I think very concerned. No, say, whose concern is it? Was the client concerned? Actually, not really. For all you know, when you take away all the cockroaches, you're going to remove the level of functionality. I said, really? Yeah. <laughs> so his, his perspectives are very different. Uh, I learned a lot about clinical skills. Here, I think what I really learned is about, you know, I, I think for, for those of us who have studied social work, we, usually our social work professors will say, never tell the client that you understand because you'll never understand. Okay? And that is something that I learned when I was in SABH. Okay? They, after about one month into the practicum, they, they bring us on a sighted walk, sighted guide. Okay? You blindfold yourself. It's a path that every day that you have been walking, you walk with a guide. It is the most scariest experience that I've ever had. Okay? I was hesitating to cross my leg. It, it is, and then I was really shaking, you know. And when my supervisor say, remove your blindfold, it was just a, just a very, very shallow slope. It was not even steep. And that's the day I realized, yes, we will never, never be able to understand the situation that the client is actually in. As much as we say we can make rational decisions, we can make practical decisions, we can make logical decisions, but the circumstance that what the client is going through, I think it's, it's very difficult for us to be able to understand. So that's really something that I learned. I also learned about relativity. Because the world is very different. So there was this class on poverty. So everybody was giving definitions of what is poverty. And then, you know, a lot of people say, yeah, you know, when I was old, my grandmother was poor, etc., etc. Everybody was giving their definitions of poverty. And it's, and it's a good mix of international students. And there was this guy from, I think he's from Ghana. Okay? He stood up and he said, in my country, all of you are millionaires. There was absolute silence. Everybody learned what poverty means. Okay, so that's something, again, that gave me the exposure to international perspectives about some of the social work theories that we are actually learning. Okay.